for that. And we're joined now by Republican Congressman Darrell Issa, Chair of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. Thank you for joining us, Congressman. Are you prepared to vote for an authorization of this mission in Iraq? I am, George. I was just in both Baghdad and Erbil, in addition to six other nations in the Middle East uh, between August and Erbil just a few weeks ago. Uh, the fact is, we're already there. We've had to be there. Uh, the government in Baghdad is still quite delusional, if you will, about uh, what the real impact is. They're still talking about long-term training before they're ready to fight. So the fact is that uh, if we're to protect the gains we made against Islamic extremism, uh, my Marines from Camp Pendleton and others are going to have to go back again. They're going to go back. Should they be in a combat position? Iraqis should b fight for their country. There's no question at all. They've been trained, and they should do it. The fact is the Kurds are willing to do it. I have no doubt whatsoever that the Kurds will fight, and all they need is our air support and our technical know-how, and they will do it. When it comes to the Sunni-Shia divide uh, that the Maliki government created, it makes it very, very hard to put together the kind of military units that they should have. Uh, that remains to be seen of whether or not the substantial portion of that 800,000 people we trained are willing to fight. The fact is, uh, by the time they started fleeing, we were down to a quarter of a million and when I met with the government, they said, well, we have about 8,000 who will fight. I think they have to do better. Let me turn to the broader issues facing the president and Congress in these next couple of years. The president's making it very clear he's going to act on immigration on his own before the end of the year. What are the consequences? Well, the consequences are lost opportunities. Uh, in the last Congress, I authored the uh, Skills Visa Act that uh, not only would have allowed and promoted the uh, best and the brightest being allowed to remain here and add to our economy, these STEM, if you will, graduates, but it scored $100 billion of new revenue to the government. That can be paired with other immigration reforms. And if the president is willing to work with us in the House and the Senate, we could make that happen. If not, shutting down the government? I'm not predicting what the, the, the result will be other than in my 14 years on judiciary and the, the work I've tried to do on immigration, time and time again, people have missed opportunities. The fact is our farmers in California need an effective worker program. Uh, the reality is that we send home to foreign countries the best and the brightest from around the world when in fact they'd like to stay here and add to our economy. We need to work together to solve both of those problems. I'm hoping the president will delay and have a real comp comprehensive discussion about what's possible, because a great deal is possible on immigration reform. Well, let's see if he takes your advice. Congressman Issa, thanks very much for your time this morning. Now